Synthetic cathinones are more commonly known as bath salts. They are chemically modified stimulants related to cathinone, a substance found in a cat plant, which is a shrub found in East Africa where some people chew their leaves for its mild stimulant effects. There are over 30 synthetic cathinone compounds I'm counting. The ones that have been popularized in the street market and studied more extensively by researchers are methadrone, methadone, MDPV, and alpha PVP. Methadrone and methadone were the first synthetic cathinones to be sold widely for recreational use. Methadone came to the attention of European authorities in 2007, after which its dissemination and use grew rapidly. Methadrone was sold in Israel under the name Neodove. Methadone originated in the mid 2000s in the Netherlands and Japan. MDPV began to appear in 2009 under the name Vanilla Sky. Alpha PVP had surged in Europe and the United States, particularly in southern Florida. The name legal highs have been given to sell these drugs in head shops and over the internet. As an additional protective measure, websites typically state it is not for human consumption. As a loophole to sell their product, the upsurge of use has led to a ban on these legal highs. However, the introduction and reintroduction of these chemicals in quick succession is still being used to sell these products. The effects of taking the drug consist of euphoria, increased energy, disinhibition and impulsivity. The acute physiological effects include tachycardia, hypertension and hypothermia. At relatively low doses, are not highly problematic. However, high doses can cause liver failure, kidney damage, rhabdomyolysis and abnormal clotting. The adverse psychiatric reactions range from anxiety to a state of delirium, with the most extreme cases causing psychotic reactions characterized by hallucinations, aggression, and in some cases, self-harm. In terms of the neurochemical mechanism of action, synthetic cathinones fall into two categories, methadrone and methadone act like amphetamine in their ability to release dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin from their respective nerve terminals and to block the reuptake of these neurotransmitters. MDPV and alpha PVP are more like cocaine and methylphenidate in that they block monoamine transporters without leading to their release but unlike cocaine they are selective to dopamine and norepinephrine transporters and have relatively little influence on serotonin. These compounds are more potent than cocaine which contributes to the risk of toxic overdose. The ability of synthetic cathinones to enhance dopaminergic activity and produce a euphoric state suggests a high risk of dependence. A few studies have reported regional decreases in dopaminergic and serotonergic markers in methadone treated rats and mice, but other studies found no related drug changes. Methadone administered to rats was found to cause widespread serotonin depletion in one study, but not another. MDPV and methadone were reported to cause a concentration-dependent apoptic cell death in a vitro study using a human dopaminergic cell line. Taking all these findings into consideration, synthetic cathinones have the potential to cause neurotoxicity in either their dopaminergic or serotonergic system. Much more research in this area is clearly warranted as more and more young people become exposed to these substances over time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.